Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 uh, weapon testing video. So in this video, we're gonna be testing a quad explosive uh, primed pipe revolver. So these are the mods you can see on the right side. Uh, we're gonna be testing it with uh, full HP and low HP. No sneaking, by the way, because I don't see the point of showing that. And sneaking, when sneaking, you know, you get even more damage, right? In whatever case. So, I just want to show you on how it performs without sneaking. Okay. Uh, so we're going to be going against humans behemoth uh, on low HP and then full HP. Uh, no sneak. Once again, I would like to underline that. Uh, we're gonna go against super mutants, same uh, same procedure. We're gonna go against robots, and we're gonna go against the scorch and scorch beast with this pistol and see how it performs. Uh, yeah, at the end you will get to see my build that I use in order to make this video. It's all the same character because uh, the build is uh, my balance build. But anyway, let's not waste time and jump right into it. Alright, so let's start off with humans. By the way, I want to quickly show you the, the build so you can pause and take a look at the perk cards. In more details, I'll cover it uh, a little bit later on in the video. Alright, so the first guys on the target list is our uh, Blood Eagles. This is the damage with my current build, 195, before any additional damage perks kick in. And as I said, we are not going to sneak around to deal more damage. And it almost one shots so now that the adrenaline has kicked in level 50 blood eagle guys are not a problem uh, although from far distance eh, not very good eh? boom man sometimes the stupid lag server is just too stupid <clears throat> alright so basically humans definitely not a problem for this pistol and now that the adrenaline has kicked in, we have a damage of 238. And uh, once again, not this damage can be increased even more if you increase your rifle perk cards and uh, uh, pistol perk cards. I have everything one star. I find it convenient to have it under one star. As I said, balance, balance build. Uh, I can use whatever weapons I want, make some sort of reviews uh, in some details and then you can even buff it up if you want to or keep it the same I prefer as is alright so there we go behemoth boom critical well add the super best damage but there we go but essentially you definitely no problem especially if you start initiating those critical hits from far distance plus this gun's got a pretty good range like if I get away from him a little bit let's see if I'll be able to back off there we go even from this distance we're managing to hit those hits but with the Scorch Beasts we're gonna have a problem <laughs> I already feel it man if it took so many shots to take out Behemoth with Scorch Beasts we're definitely gonna have a problem Alright, let's do the same run with full HP. Alright, now let's do the same run uh, with the full HP build. So, by the way, the only thing that's changed is my armor, and that's it. Other perks did not change. They're pretty much, uh, this is my build, kind of like there and there. It's a balanced one, so it's not dedicated to specific things. But, I do have a much better armor for full HP build than my... Uh, <laughs> uh, Low HP build, the bloodied. Oh wow! What's up with those missed shots? But there you go. Two shot. Even with full HP, no sneak. Although man, the vast accuracy kind of sucks a little bit. B but. I basically don't take damage because I have three pieces of Sentiel, Vanguard Sentiel Secret Service. That's why it is extremely OP. Like, let this guy shoot me. Come on, man. Shoot me! You blind or something? Let's go. 
Do something. Oh, there we go. There we go. He's doing something. Anyway, let's go. This is a weapon review, not a gun. <laughs> I already got it coming. But look at that. The gun is definitely performing well against humans. Boom. By the way, I'm actually curious how bad will uh, Behemoth hit me for with all my defensive park cards on. And I must say, a pretty decent build too for tanking. But I'm pretty sure... Oh wait. The damage... I think this is already well after the adrenaline kicked in. Uh... Okay, never mind. Well, oh, it, it is lower. Yeah. It's gonna take a while. How you here? Ow. Do that again. Ow. Come on, do that again. That's kind of fun. Oh man. Hey! What the hell just happened? Bye bye. By the way, my damage... Whenever I take hits, my damage falls. I still uh, have the adrenal reaction uh, mutation. So even on full HP, I still get my boost to damage when needed. So that's another good thing. But it looks like with full HP, man, going against some big creatures uh, is an issue. So I'm most probably going to skip out on the part when we're going to be fighting against Scorched Beast with this pistol. Because uh, even on Bloodied with this same pistol, I didn't do as good as I thought I did. <laughs> Alright, so uh, next target Super Mutants. But man. Like, judging by what I see now, is already better. But we're gonna go to that location over there because I can see people over there. We probably already cleared out the area. But there are some super mutants right now. Alright, so let, now let's do a little test against the uh, super mutants. Actually, let's try the first attack, like, sneak without any perk cards. Two shot. Like, what? Yeah, the reason why I decided not to do sneak is because, well, first of all, s sneak is, you can get a really decent damage. Plus, I'm trying to find some guns that perform well at daily ops. And in daily ops, y you don't sneak, because sneak is not working at daily ops. Oof. What the hell? There is definitely something wrong with the server. Nocturnal Gamma Gun. Look at it. That's stupid. Why is it taking me off the bats? It's weird. And my things are not... Man, I gotta tell you, something is definitely wrong with these servers these days. It's just crazy. So yeah, two, three shots to take out super units. Which is pretty decent after the update, the, the balancing. Yeah, three shots. There you go. Two shot. Hell yeah. And it can perform even better if you have, like, if you boost your, ex uh, ooh, unyielding intelligence. Are you serious? Why natural, man? Wow, I'm, like, super lucky these days for that, uh, 3325, man. <laughs> like, super lucky. Like, a couple of days ago, I got a two-shot lever action uh, 3325, <laughs> which I still need to review. Uh, no, I did not want to take that gun. Just wanted to say hello. So, yeah. The pistol is after. But you still need to have a closer distance. Explosive damage and so on. 
Wow, this server is pretty good. It's got a lot of three stars. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, three shots. There you go. It's actually really good results for this pistol. Very good. Uh, where's that stupid dog? Where did I kill it? Oh, there it is. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's try a full HP now. Alright, now we're going against super mutants. There's definitely going to be some here. Uh, what is my current damage? 149. So I believe that's the damage without the adrenal reaction, without anything. So there's a level 100 super mutant. Oh my gosh. Let's get closer to him. Well, he definitely not doing damage to me. That's already understood. Yeah, bloody definitely does better. In terms of survivability, survivability, the full HP is good, but I feel like my build, my bloody tank build, can out survive, and I still have bad armor, by the way. But I can take a lot of hits and not die. The only perk card that I need to per put on in combination with everything will be dodgy and even bloody build without sentinel by the way because this has three pieces of sentinel I do better but plus damage is like a question for me that I'm still trying to solve why full HP we had a little discussion on our discord yesterday main answer is survivability so if you could share, if you're playing a uh, full full HP build, could you share some detail? Why do you prefer full HP over bloody? I'm I'm like super curious. It's like I'm cool with whatever builds. It's like you do you you do you you know. <laughs> I, I like bloodied for uh, more intelligence for farming. I like bloodied for more stats allowing me to do a whole bunch of stuff. And I didn't like it because I was dying a lot. But ever since I made a balanced build and more defensive bloody build, I'm actually enjoying it more. I didn't try the full HP build. Uh, now I'm trying those, and it kind of feels like the same thing to me. To me, to be honest, like the only difference is that the damage is less. So if you could share your opinion on why why full HP, uh, I would understand. Uh, I mean, I'd like to understand that. <laughs> Please, don't get me wrong. And uh, as I said, you can still boost up your damage by increasing the damage per cards. Uh, what else do we have on the menu? Robots. That's going to be the last one. I'm not going to go against Scorched with full HP because judging by the damage done to the Super Moon, I mean the Behemoth, I don't think Scorch Beast is going to be a good target. Scorch Beast probably with full HP I would use a big gun. Alright, now let's try out this gun against robots and see how it performs. I, I have a feeling it's going to do like 3-4 shots. I have a feeling. Let's go. 1, 2, 3. But that's a level 50. Wow. Well, it's actually not that bad. Bro, it's even better than the plasma rifle. And by the way, I found that there's another bug, you can say, since I'm using two same guns. See, this gun is more powerful, but it takes, like, well, also two. Oh, well, damn it. Basically, this gun can be like weird sometimes. To be honest, it doesn't deal. Usually, it needs four shots to take out a robot. Like one, two, three, four. There you go. I already made the review for that gun. And by the way, if you're just curious to see what that gun is, that is B3325. This one right here. My flamer is new. B50250. 
Man, it's just killing things. It's even better. Alright, so, robots. No robots problem, man. Let's go try out the Scorched. That was a two shot of Vets Criticals. Sweet. Alright, so here we are. Here are our robots. And let's see what happens. Boom. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. What is that extra damage kicking in, man? That's weird. That was a three shot, by the way. I was actually performing nice, even with... And I'm not taking no damage, look at that, I'm just standing there. Survivability, that's what's up. And I'm not wa wasting my stim packs. <laughs> By the way. Meaning I don't really have to farm for stim packs with full HP. Like with my build, stim packs is a must. I need to dilute a lot of stim packs, I must have a lot of stim packs. In order for the build to work. For, in terms of survivability. Survivability. But yeah, man. Mission complete. What's up? That's cool. That's, that's pretty good damage. I like it. You know what? L let's go and try again, Scorch Piece. Why not? Let's just see what happens. Alright, so here we are. We still have the kick in after the. Although, the downside of this weapon looks to be breaking fast. <laughs> because it's explosives. Thanks to Tear now I have a better understanding on how these weapons break. I always knew that it was the explosive the effect that was making them break faster. But it turns out it's actually every shot that calculates as a hit like makes it break. No, why'd you come here, Captain? Man, come on, dude. Oh, it's a three-star, too. Wow, that's cool. Come on, stupid thing. Come on, Bert, get over here. Nah, man, this gun definitely not for bird fighting. Look at that, that is so bad. I'm not even gonna show it on full HP because, man, you can see the results for yourself right now. Oh, by the way, let's see how flame perform against a three-star. Oh. Oh my god, that cockroach man, he's healing my rat. Seriously, like. Oh. Get out of here, man. Oh, I'm not even the team lead. Like, seriously, you see, you're playing with the bloody bill. Why did you use. Captain, man, come on, man. A Z Clan member, I know, but dude, come on, bro, logic, please. Alright, there we go. There's our bird right there. And what's up with the scorched? Scorched pr pr should be not hard to kill. There we go. Three shots. Two shot. Two shot. Well, because this is a uh, prime one. So. As expected, basically one shot. I don't understand what is that additional extra damage is kicking in. It can't be the uh, explosive. Okay, yeah, the range suffers because of perception. My perception ain't that big, so I'm pretty sure full HP builds should definitely run with 15 plus perception. Yep. Yep. It, a three star again? Bro, this is a different server lol. <laughs> Alright, so these are the mods that you can essentially use on this specific weapon. And this specific weapon has uh, 53 mods, which I have uh, 53 out of 53. Uh, the best way to learn the mods for this pistol is basically by uh, crafting scrapping, that's one method. The other method is by looting it from the Scorch, because there's a lot of uh, drop. This is an early game gun. And uh, you pick it up, you s 
crap it and you will learn the mods for it. A whole bunch of them over here. You can even change receivers to a different ammo type uh, version and etc. So as you can see there's a whole variety of things here. Now uh, prime receiver as far as I know can only be uh, earned through the Squishby screen fight or I think you can buy it from one of the vendors. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but yeah. That's how it is. Uh, these are for the long barrels, etc. Aligned. Uh, this is what I use for my mats, as I find it the most efficient. Uh, the stocks. So basically, if you'll keep, uh, for example, the aligned grip, right, the gun will not benefit from uh, rifleman park perks because it's going to be considered to be a revolver. But if you add this on, then it will can be considered to be as a rifle, and it will benefit from I don't know if it's a game feature, feature, right, or if it's the actual thing that actually benefits from the rifle damage per cards and the pistol damage per cards. So I don't know. I would call it. It could because it's adding a little bit more. It's like it's not downgrading. It's actually still efficient on the higher level, which is kind of cool. But I don't know if it's a. It should be like that or no. So have in mind that if it is a feature then most probably in future this gun will benefit only from rifle perk cards and not the gunslinger but only gunslinger rifleman plus gunslinger all right and others so a whole bunch of them here uh, so there's a whole bunch of uh, different scopes and muzzles so if you want to go sneaky peeky mode suppressor enjoy uh, you're gonna do even more damage. <laughs> Most probably even gonna one shot everything. But I focus to uh, test my builds and guns that are good for the daily ops basically. And there we go. But actually you know what? Comment down below if you would like for me to redo this video but change the build to uh, stealth and show the same weapon again uh, but a little bit changed with uh, perks. The same build. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like for me to cover that, then I'll start working on it. But at the moment, we'll keep it as is. And it's still a pretty decent gun. <laughs> Alright, so this is my build. I'm going to show you my legendary perks. They all consist of uh, stats boosters, right? So I can now pretty much use whatever weapon I want with a minimum loss. Well, I think it's the minimum it's still playable very playable it's still OP it's still OP I can review different type of guns if you want to focus on something else like on specific rifleman build then you can go perception all 15 get yourself all those plus three uh, to rifleman park cards all of them like max out your damage and you should be performing way better than what I performed here and essentially from agility as well uh, but my build is as is something neutral in the middle with defense and stuff like that so blocker barbarian uh, over here you can see live giver ironclad fireproof inspirational stranger numbers tend riser for more damage first aid combined in combination with born survivor and field surgeon is very uh, effective on bloody build my bloody build tank so Nerd Rage on full HP, th this part, part cards don't change when I go full HP mode as well because when I get damage on full HP I kinda little bit little bit little bit convert into my bloody build increasing my damage but also all of my defensive perk cards kick in so I still kinda like good you know so that's why I decided you know I'm keeping the way things are and I'm actually enjoying it so uh that's my build. That's everything you need to know over here. Uh, let's go to mutations. And the mutations is the same set as I usually have. Adrenaline, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbie War, and so on and so forth. Right? Then we go to my apparel. For a uh, bloody build, I use my Secret Service, which is not the best at the moment. So, but let me quickly show it to you right here. So, boom. That's Cavalier, by the way, the like good one. Eh, could be better. It's for sneaking, really good. But still, I don't like sneaking. Boom. So basically, that leg is pointless in daily ops. Boom. 
Oh, that, that's where we're getting to Vanguard. Number four, V stands for Vanguard, so that's Vanguard. Not the best piece. Really good piece. Sentiel, Vanguard, Charisma. I wish it was Edwards. There we go. This is extremely good piece. So, Edrens, Vanguard, and Sentinel. Like, also really good piece with agility. Agility is still good, but I think Edrens for a full HP would be perfect. Or what do you think, like, those who are more experienced in full HP, what is your takeaway? What is the best Vanguard, Sentinel, and AP regen, uh, essentially, is the best best. <laughs> Uh, but I'm speaking of stats. What is the best of stats? So there you go. That was my Vanguard. And, uh. Yep. So. The mods for the weapon. Scrap. Crap. Done. Alright, Z Clan and everybody else. This is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them. I see them. I read them. And I delete them. Have that in mind. So if you're new and you subscribe, well, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. And if you want to join our community, feel free to do so. The link to our Discord server is down in the video description. Make sure to read our rules, otherwise most probably you will get banned if you don't follow the rules. But if you like keeping it cool pro, it's good. <laughs> you won't get banned. So basically, just don't swear, don't do some cheat stuff and stuff like that. Just read the rules, okay? Trust me. Because there is no unbunning procedure. Uh, and yeah. All the other useful links and supporting links are down in the video description, so if you want to show a little bit extra support, you can do so by joining my Patreon. But that's pretty much it. Uh, live streams on Twitch. You all have a good morning, day and night, whatever you guys like it, and I'll see you on the next video. By the way, I do apologize. I am a little bit tired today, so my mood might have been like somewhere in the middle, man. <laughs> Alright, you all have a good one. Bye. From the ashes we